Hello and welcome back to Queen Meave. Uh, running around in the forest, looking for some elves to murder. Uh, because uh, that's kind of my hobby at this point. I kind of hope we're just gonna get out of this forest at one point. But it seems like it's gonna take us uh, some time. Hmm. What would be the best is that we actually managed to run into the guy. Yeah, I'll just repair the bridge. Who is is the one who's calling the shots here. Because I kind of expect that. Some big, big guy is just going to show up like... Hey. Like, this is what I was talking about. That is uh, Skurta, just like pathetic. Look at this guy. Hiding in the trees, in the forest. On, uh, on high ground. And he's calling me names. Is this the best you can do? Come over here. Every other Skurta is dead so far. So... Yeah, I think uh, you need to step up your uh, game, uh, Mr. Hide in the Forest. Call me names, guy. Yeah. Okay. Or maybe the big rig is, is in the mines? It doesn't seem like a very square place to hang out. If I was uh, the big rig square dude, I wouldn't be hanging out in the mine. Because that's just, that's just bad. Uh, on the Me same note... discussing some matter with Gascon when a scout approached. His blood-streaked uniform revealed the matter to be urgent, so the Queen cut short her conversation and requested a report. We were scouting, milady, and we found a cave entrance. Small scattering of elves guarding it, but we took them right out. Hmm. Gascon scratched his chin. I'd wager ten Novigrad crowns there are more Skoyatels squirreled away inside. We strike before they know we've snuffed out their guards, we might well catch them by surprise. But we must act quickly. I would think it's a trap. I'll just kill them all. Then let us act. Gather some men and prepare them for an attack. But keep quiet. The Lyrians Psst. crept into the cave. They moved carefully, noiselessly even, avoiding notice for quite a while. Nevertheless, elven warriors soon came pouring out of a side cavern. What? That's not really a Squirtel style, is it? <clears throat> Standard battle? Really? No. No. Okay. Hmm. Oh, this is not the best. I suppose it's just gonna mulligan if you get unlucky then. But that's that. We ought to help one or the other. That's kind of weak. But it does limit my... <clears throat> Wait, what? None shall tread on us! <laughs> what does he do? Play one unit from your graveyard and half their power. That's it? Cooldown 2. Oh, I see. He does have some archers. That's no big deal. I'm not too concerned about the healer. I guess we're gonna go... Actually, maybe I should be concerned with the healer. It's cooldown of one. Holy crap. Hmm. This is actually a good example of... Uh, when the damage is gonna be worse. Alright. Wait, what? Do I just play the Rivian Pikemans? Just ten? Maybe. I'm coming, I'm coming. Okay. They're not backing down. Must be something of value to them here. Pass. That's a little unusual. Okay. What is his strategy? Does he even have one? So now we can fight with 10 cards versus 9 cards. <clears throat> also, we don't have anything. Well, my opponent usually goes first. Uh, I just go with that. Lyrian Sightman gets played. There's a time to reap, a time to sow, and a time to die. But not the Lyrian Sightman. You were the lowest enemy. Cool down of two. Oh my. 
If I could just kill that, that would be great. That's annoying. A Hawker healer. Heal an ally. So you, you can heal yourself. Boost self by a lot. I. Yeah, go and do with me, I guess. And also, he has a crappy healer. Oh my god, the healer heals the heal. No. Oh, what? We ought to help one or the other. Nothing is ever gonna die now. Unless he gets one shotted. So let's go with the drummer boy. Again and again. At this point again. we really need to make sure to play in the same row. Just to get some arbalist value. We might even need to line up these. What the fuck? That guy's gonna get healed for sure. Will it attack before it gets healed? Like an idiot. Actually, we can kill it before it attacks. I'm a monster. I just go with drummer. Um, is a waste of time for one like me. Okay, not a lot of stuff is dying, oh, but fine. Holy crap! Do you think you have enough healers? Well, damage doesn't really do anything. Maybe we're gonna black Rayla. Actually, just get out something. Oh, well, yeah, set him on fire. Sure. You mad? Don't shake that. Um, fine. That, that will show him. Okay, let's go with I'll Black Rail in the back. They're way there on fire! What now? Loving your hat, mates! It's very classic. How about playing more healers? This doesn't matter, as long as he doesn't have any units that actually do something. This kind of limits my ability to uh, damage him. Let's just crap again. Hey, that's just a big fatty. Pretty worthless. I think we're just gonna blow that up. Get out Reynard Odo. Discipline shall bring us victory. Get out that. Sure. Ah, should have listened to me Get all out. Uh that too. Sure. This could hurt. The can play the Illyrian Arbalest, dealing eight damage with it. Black Rayleigh is gonna do that. One bolt's all I need. And we're just gonna hit. Ha! Oh, nice. We actually managed to kill something. Perfect! Oh, but yeah, it looks kinda good, but like, it's, it's also really good, but. I also have only two of these Bernie guys, so they're never really gonna be too much, but th these can be okay. Fine. We ought to help one or the other. 
What the, what? Apply fire to an enemy ruin double the chance it will damage enemies? What does it mean? Like, does it... It says 33% and the base had 33%, but does it have 66%? Double, like, I suppose that's double of 33, technically. So we can hit for 9. And killing the Hawker healer. Give me a time. We can just pass and this guy's lost. Because these fires tend to pop quite a lot. Almost popping every turn. That's that's why I crafted it, because it seemed like a, a good deal. And it seems like maybe I was right. It is a good deal. Fake Florin. Lyrian Horde. <laughs> well, it's technically true that the, the Lyrian Merlot is a little bit worse, but like, come on. Flail is awesome. Holy crap. I'll feed you to the crows! Oh. oh my. You're gonna need all the heals you can get, buddy. <laughs> so, we gonna play... Yeah, just everything gets healed up. And, uh... What are we doing here? Fake Florin. Maybe this Hawker healer attacks this brigade. Then these guys gonna get moved into the front. What? It... Oh, it only moves them back. Oh. <laughs> Holy crap, the fire now is awesome! We will see who is weak. I am unstoppable now. I, I managed to turn this deck into some removal beast. Um, I don't know, let's do Lyrian Horn. This can die. <laughs> it's so good! Oh, well, yeah. Your tricks will not save you, Duan. This is a good example of a defense alone as a video fight. <laughs> Let's move him back. You guys go back. Ah! Oh, that's a lot of points. 264 points versus 28 points. They resisted to the very end. Oh, they did. Well, well, well done. When the Lyrians broke the Elven ranks, Meave was convinced their foe would retreat and regroup. But to her surprise, the Scoia'tael fought to the bitter end. She concluded there must have been something truly valuable hidden in that cave. As Meave entered the next chamber, her nose caught the stink of blood, pus, and urine. Then she understood. The elves were using the cave as a field hospital. Wounded fighters lay by the cavern walls. They made no attempt to defend themselves, nor to beg, nor to make peace with the gods. They merely watched the Lyrians calmly, with stark contempt. Ooh. What? We got ointment? Go away! Milady, whispered Rayla. You saw what the Scoia'tael are capable of. What they do to humans, they would have no mercy for it. Raynard, usually calm, could not hold back and cut Raylor off. What, pray, do you suggest? That we murder the wounded? The warrior responded in a whisper, slowly emphasizing her words. I suggest you leave. Leave me and my men. We'll take care of the rest. I'm not leaving you. I can kill the wounded. Meave swallowed with difficulty. The rancid clammy air caught in her throat. We'll await you at the top, Rayla. The queen moved towards the exit, keeping close to the walls. After a long hesitation, Raynard followed. Rayla joined them later that evening. She spent a long time washing the blood from her armor. Yeah, Rayla just wanna have fun, and uh, Raynard is too loyal to leave me, so this is all good, good fun.
Can you anything? We good! Some dead elves. Oh, what? Stuff. More stuff. And a dam. Where are we going? So I checked all that out, and it's about them time to go through that bridge. I suppose you could have just skipped all of that. Uh, and looking back at it, you shut up in the in the forest. Seriously, unbelievable. Come over here, and I'll kill you. Not even a threat. You shut up too. So where are we? Yeah, I don't know. I didn't explore. Oh, we were going there anyway, right? I suppose. Aren't we? No, this is where we're going. So I'm just I'm just trying to figure out what path should I take to. Well, we wanna just check check this out, come back, take that road route. Uh, but me might want to go there as well. Whoa, whoa, whoa! There's something over there as well. We can just make a beeline for maybe that. I don't know. That's the main quest. So apparently, maybe we want to go uh, and take uh, this path first. I don't know about you guys, but I just don't really like just to go and uh, rush for the main quest. Uh, that's kind of somehow the game is set up. But if I'm rushing for the main quest, then it's already something is wrong. Milady, our soldiers found the merchant at the bottom of a pitfall. He's in poor state, with extensive wounds and a high fever. What shall we do? Escort him to the nearest village. Uh, requisition his wares as compensation. Why does that cost me... Oh, I suppose that cost me gold. I guess we can escort him to the nearest village and offer coin for his treatment. Uh, I guess we can steal his uh, planks. Fine, you know. Just give me the piece of that card. You know. You, you better tell uh, other people about my good deeds. But I'm not escorting you myself, I just uh, sent some peasants to do it. Oh, come on, give me that. Give me that, too. Attention! In light of recent events in Molderwood, I hereby order the following. Representatives of the elder races caught concerting with Squirtel shall be executed without trial, together with their families, and their belongings confiscated. Alright, pretty clear rules. <laughs> Representative of the elder races are forbidden to leave their dwellings after dark on penalty of lashing. Oh, look at that, how lenient. Not death. Taxes for representatives of the other races shall be increased threefold until further notice. Ah. Uh, only threefolds? That, that, that's so nice, you know? Like, I'm not sure what kind of taxes we have here. Like, maybe like 30%, maybe like 20%. Like, yeah, that's with threefold, it's like totally okay. Ooh, okay. So. At least we know what the hell is going on here. Are you guys happy with the situation? Uh. Meave's path took her to the village of Eichenfurt. Unlike most settlements in the area, not a single human dwelled here. Instead, only elves and dwarves sat on its porches and stared at the passing Lyrians with clear aversion. Not a single greeting was extended to their allies in arms, not a single peddler tried to hawk their wares. The only sound was that of snapping shutters and slamming doors. Something's amiss, Rayla said, furrowing her brow. Order a halt, my lady, and give me a moment to look around. Sure? You've a quarter of an hour, Meave said as she dismounted. And not a moment more. The queen sat in the shade of a large pear tree. She shut her eyes and listened to the chirping of crickets in the grass savoring a rare moment of relaxation. But the calm did not last. Within moments, one of her scouts returned, a certain Sergeant Niedermere. Tears streamed down his weathered, scar-pocked face. Are you crying, man? Also, why am I just, like, looking at the scenery? 
that's cool, but also, don't I have like a book just to occupy my mind? A lady, I... come with us, please. You'll need to see this for yourself. The sergeant led her to the still smoldering remains of a mill. Her soldiers were picking things out from the ashes. When she got closer, she realized in horror they were human skulls, some no larger than apples. Tell the villagers to gather by the well, the queen said in a strained voice. Or be executed. <laughs> oh, come on. You don't have to say that right away. The elves and dwarves attempted no denials. They admitted Eldane and his Scoia'tael had helped them round up all the humans in their village, march them into the mill, then set it aflame. They stole our lands. They filed our names, beat us, murdered us in bloodthirsty pogroms, shouted one of the dwarves. They had it coming to them. Got their comeuppance, I'd say. Yeah, but like... Okay? But you can't ex well. You murdered them too. I suppose they didn't have too much of a choice, but still, you're awfully okay with the situation. Meve was no stranger to the cruelty of war, but the enormous evil she found in Iconfurt overwhelmed her. She felt a terrible weight on her chest, found it hard to draw breath, and her head spun. She felt she could hear the cries of humans being burned alive. Ma'am, whispered Reynard, you must... You must pronounce something. Or simply turn the matter over to me, Your Grace. Rayla interrupted. I know what to do. <laughs> what? Kill them all? Have the non-humans escorted to the nearest city. Or... Let Rayla punish them as she sees fit. You know what, Rayla? Just, just do your thing, you know? Girls be girls, right? Do as you see fit, Meave said quietly, gaze fixed on the ground. The queen snapped her reins and rode out of the village. She did not want to witness the bloody massacre of non-humans her soldiers were about to perpetrate. What she had seen at the mill already sufficed to keep her awake for many nights to come. Well, could be like two, three. Not, not more than that, though. Well... Great. We killed more people. <laughs> I don't know. Well, who am I even really standing up for? Just kill everybody, right? Oh no, the mill. Well, this was certainly a solution. They just kill everybody. It's it's fair. But still, it's such a impossible situation. Like, we can't really, uh, spend a lot of time and consideration on how to punish them. But also, they weren't, I don't know, I, I felt like I, I, I'm not really making decisions like this usually. I felt like I was not giving too much information. Basically, what we had is like a burned down mail and one guy who was pretty into it. That's it. And, and I decided to just like, let's just fucking kill them all. Which wasn't wasn't the best, I I guess. But still, it's like come on. I would have loved to talk to other people. Like I, I, I have no doubt that maybe there were some other people who who were less into it. What what was that? Meve asked Reynard, who rode beside her. A scream. A man's, I think. Need to investigate. Gather a few men and we ride. Quickly. But that wasn't the man's scream. Men don't scream. The screaming came from a small settlement. When Meave rode up to its farmhouses, her horse reared and neighed in terror. Necrophages swarmed all around. The monsters surrounded a few Nilf guardians who were trying, with no success, to chase them off with torches. Reynard swept his gaze over the carnage and said, They cannot stave them off, and their armor is too heavy for them to flee. Oh, Isn't that like a... Quick, quick strip option, if you have an armor? Probably not. Save the Nilf Guardians. Leave the Nilf Guardians to their fate. Maybe they're gonna be... Oh, we can save them to kill them. Let's just, let's just leave Eve them. squinted and smiled cruelly. Soldiers, we behold a battle. On one side fight bloodthirsty, mindless beasts who live to kill. And on the other, <laughs> ghouls. 
To my mind, they deserve one another. Fall back. Amiv. <laughs> Pat herself on the back like, Oh yeah, I sure told them. I'm sure the soldiers are laughing about the good joke. For weeks now. The queen tugged her reins and turned her horse. Soon thereafter, the woods rang with Lyrian laughter, mixed with cries of terror from the Nilf guardians as they were dismembered alive. Oh, it's pretty nice. Oh, look at that. My soldiers love that. That's, that's what I need to be. Just be the comedian, Meath. And kill a lot of people. Although they don't like that too much. Anyway, uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching and see you next time.